people have to be used by the Holy Spirit. They have to be used. How to, to be used, used. <laughs> by the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. That's today's teaching. How to be used by the Holy Spirit. We don't use the Holy Spirit. You have to understand that. People are users have tendency to try to use the Holy Spirit. It will never work. Thank you, Jesus. We work on TV audience and all our audience here. Today's uh, miracle service, my name is Dr. Timmy Bridges, my wife, Dr. Therese Bright, hallelujah. We are both founders and pastors of the Wellness Christ Ministry, hallelujah. Take your Bible and follow us as we follow Jesus. For God is good. Amen. Amen. Those of the students, some of you are on the TV audience, hallelujah. God's healing your throat cancer. God's healing you. Your migraine headache, Christ is healing you, hand and left. arthritis in your hand, Christ is healing you. Some of you have uh, your knee cap removed, Christ is replacing, give you a new, new cap. Go check your MD, hallelujah, we shock out, we blow him out of the water. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because God is a creator, the creator, hallelujah. And he's here, he's moving, hallelujah. And for those who don't know Jesus, pray this, I say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart right now. Come into my heart right now. And save me. And save me. And make me your child. And make me your child. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. I receive. I receive. My salvation. My salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 You got your Bible here? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. How to be used by what? Holy Spirit. You know how to be you by the Holy Spirit. You have to know that he's a person. He's yeah. a person. So you have to relate to him as a person. What's the quality of a person? A person is anyone has ability to think, to will, to know, and to speak. And Holy Spirit has more than those qualities. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know how to allow him to use you. You have to learn what? To rely. Say rely. Rely. On him. On him. So rely. 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 Depend. Depend. On him. On him. Because he's in charge. So he will not use you if you are if you are on the way. If you get on the way. That is why Jesus said in the book, all the criteria to be used of God. Let's come to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. Ever say, is with God, with God uh, all things are possible. All, all things are possible. Not by might, not by might, not by power, not by power, but by my spirit says the Lord. But by my spirit says the Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The same. The same. Yesterday. Yesterday. Today. Today. And forever. And forever. To be used by the Holy Spirit, you have to let of your own will. Abandon your will, abandon your ways, abandon your own schedule, and follow his. Say follow his. Follow his. When you do that, you are denying yourself. You are down to your flesh. You are down to your own fleshly desire, your own passion, and all those things. And then we have all the old man has to be what? Subdued. Say subdued. Subdued. Yeah. So Christ will be risen so the spirit can rise. So we're going to see five different places in the Bible how Jesus lay emphasis on this. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Also, Paul also lay emphasis on this. These are the key if you want to be used of God. Say, oh yes, if you, if, if you don't, if you don't yield and, and get out of the way, not to manifest your life. You struggle, 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 because you always resist or fight him. Say, fight. Fight. Say, what did Jesus say? Not my will, O oh Lord, that will be done. See? <laughs> If Jesus said, no, I will, no, I will. He gave his pattern, son, hallelujah. So Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Matthew 16, verse 24. Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Who's speaking here? Jesus. Jesus. See? Deny himself. See? Yes, yeah, some people travel from imperial come to serve this evening. They deny themselves. <laughs> they work all day in the crowd. Take, oh, let me take this evening and snooze out. From Imperial. <laughs> well, remember, they come because what? They deny themselves what? To receive the presence. Say presence. The presence. The presence. Of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord Jesus. See, anytime you deny yourself, hallelujah, you are in. The moment you deny yourself, you are decreasing. And what? He's, He's increasing, increasing as you yield to him. 
You can deny yourself by not yield to him. Deny yourself is first step. Then before what? You yield. Say yield. 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 Or surrender to what? To the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then when you surrender to him, then you are candidate to follow his instruction. Amen? Amen. Then he can use you. That's why it's not a formula. Every day is different. Amen? Amen. It's not a formula to so read this, read that, read that. No. Let the Spirit guide you every day. Let it lead you. But you have to deny yourself not to lead. If you're still on the way, you cannot do anything. Because <laughs> it's not by might, but by power, it's by what? By my spirit, hallelujah. Say, step in now. Step in now. No only one time, it's moment by moment. The one God to use you, step in now. See? Like my wife and I, we don't like to eat out. That's part, that's us, because. Um, we, some of the things in the food out there, and the rest of convenience, sometimes we go out, we come back home, get a headache, and all of those, so we just, see, but many times God tells us to take, if you want to go out and eat, what do you do? We deny ourselves. You know what? Go his way. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's, it's abandoning yourself to your ideas, your ways, your timing, and going by his way, his will, his timing. In order to walk in the word, you have to do deny yourself because you're taught the world system teaches us to be independent God's system is teaching us to be dependent upon him on an ongoing moment by moment basis so in order for us to do that we have to hear and obey and be willing to go his way so in order for us to go his way and be willing to do that that's how we deny ourselves on an ongoing basis and that means putting your flesh to the cross you're your will is on the cross. And, and you go God's way. So that's what the cross is made up of. It's, here's Jesus, and here's our will. It's on the cross. That's what makes up the cross. In order for us to keep, keep going his way, we have to uh, be able to search our hearts, make sure our hearts right with God, repent, and renounce sins, transgressions, iniquities, anything that's blocking us from hearing, hearing God's voice. We have to repent of those things, the things that we know that, are, that aren't that are right, that we are given place to. Uh, we, have to. we have to check ourselves and make sure that we're right with God in order to keep hearing from Him. And as long as our heart's right, we're going to continue, keep hearing from Him. And when we hear from Him, hear His voice. We may not actually hear an audible voice all the time. He may give you an impression or an idea that and you say, Lord, is that you speaking to me? You constantly are asking Him. You're constantly hearing, and then, and then you say, okay, that's him. And you yield, yield and go his way. So when you yield to what he wants you to do, that's denying yourself. Like, for instance, if a person takes a job that may be less paying, they're more educated for that job, but it's a less, less paying job. But the Lord told him, that person, to go to that workplace, to go to that job. Because there's people there that they, the Lord wants that person to reach. So they have to deny themselves and take a lesser pay. But God reward them in other ways and, and pay them back in other ways. And they probably receive training and other things that they wouldn't get if they were in a higher paying job. But then after they do that, willingly, joyfully, gladly obey him and do it, then God will take them to a higher position, a better position. And they'll probably make double the amount. But if they go through that test and do what he's called them to do at that time, then they're going to come out successful and they deny themselves and then at that time they prosper because they're, they yielded to God's will, went his way, God uses them and then they they prosper because they deny themselves. Amen. Amen. And verse 25, Matthew 16, 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, what? Shall find it. Find it. You need to adapt yourself. You always gain it. Say gain it. Gain it. Gain it. So you are seeking first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And other things. And that's how you can fulfill your destiny. There's no way you can fulfill the calling of God for life if you don't deny yourself. There's no way. <laughs> you always go around the mountain. Because self is running the life instead of the Holy Spirit. You choose. Say choose. Choose. Our choices determine who's running the life. Thank you, Jesus. You choose the Holy Ghost. You always that your own will, to your own plan, to your own desire, to your own purposes, and you work and yield it to Him. Amen. 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 In Mark chapter eight, 
Mark chapter 8. Start from verse 34, yeah. See, what all the gospel by the Holy Spirit use this hallelujah to remind that is very key. Mark 8, verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. See, I is repeating the same thing. Matthew was used by the Holy Spirit to say the same thing. Mark was used by the Holy Spirit to say the same thing. And that is important to God. You see, it's being repeated. See, that says no one scripture taken out of context is being repeated. You want to know God to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You have to deny yourself. You got two, you can all say in two boats. Right. See, you have to level up one and follow him. Say follow. Follow him. Follow him out. See, by asking all he wants us to do, then we surrender. We abandon our own plan and go his way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By so doing, you know. That's how you mature in the things of God. Yeah. That's how you see so many people that are born again for so many years, and there's no maturity because they're not being led by the Spirit of God. I didn't live by their own self. See? And there's no anointing. See? They talk the talk. As uh, Tina said, see, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power of the Holy Spirit to control them. Self is, the, self is still the chief. Amen? Okay. Jesus, that makes the, they mean, that means that Jesus is not Lord of your life. That's it. When you make Jesus Lord of your life, He's Lord in everything. Amen. Every area. Your finances, your job, your family, he's, his, uh, what he wants you to do comes first. You keep him first, and that's, and that's another form of denying yourself by keeping God first. Because it says, seek you first the kingdom of God, and all in his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. So see, once you, you keep him first, and you're denying yourself, because you're going his way, and not being led on your on your own, because once you make him Lord, that means he he is the, um, he's the leader. He's he's the one that's in charge of your of your life. And as you continue keep letting him lead him, you have to be able to trust God in order to let him lead you. Amen. See, people people will let you down because you trusted them and they hurt your feelings and done things to you that you didn't Amen. think that you was you know that you know wasn't right. And but God. You have to learn how to trust the Lord by knowing that He's not going to hurt you. You, you trust Him by going by His word, even though the circumstances don't look like it's going to change. But yet He gives you a word to stand on, and you keep following that word. That's denying yourself, because in order to keep following the word, you have to um, uh, deny yourself and say, "Okay, God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it Your way, because my way, I give up." I can't, I can't do it. It's not working. I've tried all these different things, and, it, and it's not working. So once you deny yourself and say, okay, Lord, have your way, that means you yield your will to him and say, okay, Lord, have your way. And it, as soon as people do that, then they start seeing God work in their life. And then they start seeing God use them because they said, okay, Lord, that's it. I'm not going to do it my way anymore. I'm going to yield to you and, and go your way. And then they start seeing changes. Step by step, God's changing things. Mm -hmm. He's moving obstacles out of the way. Circumstances are changing. The family starts changing because they decided to do it God's way. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Then they are candidate what? To be used. Because God resists the proud. And give what? Praise the humble. He's the humble. He uses the meek. Yeah. See? The proud. See? The far off. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because proud people will always go back. They will always live by self. <laughs> yeah. they, want, they don't care whom they hang, whom they climb on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. They are selfish, self centered. Proud people, that's what they are. But meek people are, are different. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus humbled himself. He came up obedient. Yeah. See? In Matthew chapter 11, verse 20, he said, Come unto me, all ye that are laden, I'll give you what? Rest. Rest. You come to him by surrendering. Say surrender. Surrender. No more. Flush, flush, flush. Amen. Just yield. Amen. Say, learn of me, for I'm meek and lonely in heart. You shall find what? Rest. No stress. Rest. What? In your soul. 
so you can enjoy him, hallelujah, praise him, and then you are candidate to fellowship him. The moment you are resisting him, quenching, graving, despising the spirit of the Lord, <laughs> there's no way to use you. There's no fellowship. No obedience, no manifestation. See, I don't care how much you are called, how much you are noted. If you don't follow his instruction, Amen. then you forfeit the right to allow him to use you. See, Mark chapter 8. Uh, because Jesus humbled himself, the way he humbled himself was he obeyed the Father. That's it. He was, he's part of the Godhead. He's a, one of the th three persons in the Godhead. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But yet, when he came to earth, he abandoned his, uh, the glory of the Lord, his, his Godhead, to be like, to be as a man. So he showed us the way because he learned that he had to depend on the Father. He, and he depended on the Holy Spirit in everything that he did. He said, I do what the Father tells me to do. And that's why he never sinned, because he was always hearing what the Father asked him to do, and he did it. Because even his mother Mary said, whatever Jesus asked you to do, do it. And she said that at the last, uh, at the, uh, when he performed the first miracle, changing the water into wine. She said, whatever he asked you to do, just do, to do it. And, then, and they did, and then the miracle happened. But that's how he was successful in life because, and he showed us the way. So if he can do it, people say, well, Jesus can do it because he's part of the Godhead. Well, no, he did it by the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Is his helper. Is his helper. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So verse uh, 36, says, Mark chapter 8, 30, For course shall a prophet a man, if he shall Get the whole world and what? Lose his soul. own soul. Uh, Brother Abraham. Yes, sir. She's a member. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right. Let's come to Luke chapter 9. How you can be used by God the Holy Spirit. Everybody wants to be used, isn't it? And our strategy. There is principle you need to know. You can allow. So you're the Holy Spirit. Be what? You be in a good speaking terms instead of disagreeing with Him. Because He doesn't have time to always tell you same old, same old thing ten times. And not, not be obedient. So when your heart is tender, say tender. Tender. You want away from Him. Cause it to yield. So if, you, if you have to tell you three, four, five times, if something's wrong in your heart. You have a hardness of heart, and that can grieve him. Right. Then you will not, you will, <laughs> he's still there, but will not manifest. See? And what you're supposed to do, to repent in the back of that. Say repent. Repent. With a godly sorrow. With a godly sorrow. What does it lead to? Salvation. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. Okay. In Luke chapter 9, verse 20. Um, thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter 9, let's start from verse. Verse 23. Luke 9, verse 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay, now we see daily added. Mark, there was no daily. Matthew, there was no daily. <laughs> see that the scripture is progressive. Yeah. Right. See, now I said daily, it was specific. So I mean, so, okay, so we can do it weekly. Amen? <laughs> or monthly. <laughs> you take out your cross. Say your cross. Your cross. What's your cross anyway? Cross is not people. Cross is not sickness. It's not infirmities. It's not. Cross is what the enemy will try to, uh, to put on you. And say, no. And break you off. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cross is not your wife, or your husband, or your children. Oh, yes. So we go taught that way, that's my cross. No, no, no. <laughs> See, that's why people are deceived. They say, oh, that's my cross, I'm trying to bear, I'm trying to grant you. No. I also cast your care upon the law for what? He cares, he cares for you. For you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. He said, my yoke is easy, my burdens are light. That's it. Yeah. That means he carries us. Yeah. Yeah. He already, we don't have to um, have a, we don't have to crucify ourselves like Jesus did. He already did that for us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 
got certain uh, religious traditions mm -hmm. who say that, like my husband said, they said, this sickness is my cross, this person is my cross, yeah. this job is my cross. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they have all those different things, which is, is not true. And um, that makes Jesus, what he did for us in vain, that makes it vain. You know, see, so that's why we're teaching also the the right ways. People have the right interpretation of the word. Amen. When you when you believe wrong, then you act wrong, and then you can't be used by the Lord because if if, if you don't realize taking up your cross daily is denying yourself, then you think, oh, I have to bear this burden by myself. You see, I have to like the Catholic Church teaches that they said, oh, you have to be. Uh, Sickness, this sickness is your is your cross. That you have to suffer for Christ. He already did it for us. Amen. He already he already achieved everything. He he already went through everything that we're all, we're going to go through because he took it all to the cross. And his blood washes us and cleanses us from our sins. So we don't have to carry anything. And that's why he said, when well, Christ said, "Cast your cares upon me." This is in, in second first and second Peter. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. He wants to carry it for us. But we have to be willing to yield our, yield it to him, to give it up. He's waiting on us to, to give it over to him and not do it, our, don't do it in our own. When people are struggling, and it means they're trying to live the Christian life on their own without the help of the Holy Spirit. And it's not possible. You just, you just can't do it. And that's why people aren't um, being used by the Lord because they're, tr they're struggling and trying to do it out of self. And no man-made wisdom, no man-made program is going to get you closer to the Lord. It's going to be it. It may look like the Lord's using that person, but they're just doing it in the flesh. And it, it doesn't avail to anything. Souls aren't saved. People aren't healed. They're not delivered. They're, people are still in bondage. And there's, there's no uh, freshness. There's no creativity. There's no uh, there's no anointing because the Holy Spirit makes things fresh, makes ma makes things alive. People come alive because He is life. He said, so Jesus said, "I come to give you my life, life more abundantly." Yeah. If people are struggling and trying to carry the burden of their own, then they're um, they're refusing to receive what Jesus did for them on the cross. And that's why He says, "Keep yielding yourself on an ongoing basis. It's a it's a daily dying to yourself." Say, okay, Lord, not my will, but your, let your will be done. And the more you say that, the more you just keep yielding. He keeps showing you. He keeps leading you step by step. He keeps teaching you. And you, you come and receive the word to be taught properly. You know, Because we, my husband and I teach the word, the revelation knowledge. So people know the truth and they understand it. And then once they have that understanding, then they can act right and, and act on it. And the same way that the, the Holy Spirit works with us, it will operate in their life because they're willing to go this way and they're willing to die to their self to, to do it. And then they start practicing. It's like practicing his presence. Pra acting, not just hearing the word, but they do it. And then that's when the results come. They hear it, do it, and they obey the Lord. And uh, we were talking about the Holy Spirit. I mean, to be no. So we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Not, even though we have the degree and all those things, we don't know the degrees. That's right. <laughs> When you talk to all this revelation, you can get every time. It's by the Holy Spirit. We're still hungry. It's still teaching us new things. Amen. Yeah. Right? There's no way we park anywhere. It's always teaching new things every day. New yeah. revelation. Yeah. We are hungry and thirsty for Him. Yeah. So that's why we are teaching you so you don't go through the pain we went through, through ignorance. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You to avoid pitfalls, avoid booby trap, avoid all those things. Show the right way. Say the right way. The right way. Amen. So we can pursue. Whenever you apply it, it's something we can do for you. You have to apply yourself. Because it's a, it's a personal relationship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say so Luke chapter 9, verse 24 say, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life and say what? Shall save it. What man is a man is a man adva advantage if he gain the whole world and he lose himself or he cast away. So we say hallelujah. Jesus said the same thing. All the Bible was written by men with the Holy Spirit came upon them to write the Bible. 
Matthew was anointed to write the book of Matthew. Mark was anointed to write the book of Mark. Luke was anointed, who was a physician, who was anointed to write the book of Luke, and also the book of Acts. Luke wrote those books. So we're going to see another one, another person. John, say John. John. John chapter 12. He also said almost the same thing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. John chapter 12, verse 24, hallelujah. Okay, from there we'll just go into deeper, deeper thing. John 3, 24, the gospel of John. John chapter 12, verse 24. John 12, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall un into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Say die. Die. See, the old nature has to die. Christ died on the cross, and then down the cross, buried and rose. Look how many children God has got, you and I. Millions. <laughs> See, Jesus was a kind of wheat who fell on the ground. He rose again, hallelujah. So many, many children we have today, hallelujah. Over several million people who are born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, when you die to your own will, to your own plan, then you are cunning, like the boy who gave two loaves and and five loaves and two fishes, hallelujah. See how he multiplied. You see, but if you didn't surrender those loaves and fish to Jesus, how can it be multiplied? Amen. See, God is always in interested in increase and multiplication. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When the corn of wheat doesn't die, it's by himself. Right. When he dies, hallelujah, he multiplies what? You get so many, many corn from that uh, seed corn. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I think it's an important point because you said their old nature has to die. That's it. Your own nature means the nature we are born with. Can be African nature, can be Caucasian nature, can be <laughs> German nature, amen. All the old simple nature has to be what? Be dead. Amen. That's the nature which is against the will of God. Amen. See, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. See, when you recognize, oh no, I'm not going that way. I rebuke that, I resist that in the name of Jesus. Because the devil always went through the flesh. See, the devil, the devil went through the old man's flesh. Old man flesh. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what I say. Yeah. So you can silence and no, I'm not going that way. Thank you, Thank you. I'm going God's way. Thank you, Lord, Thank Jesus. You, Lord Jesus. Then you have a better position to hear from God and follow his instruction. Amen. Then you can be delivered from religion, tradition, yes. and legalism. Amen. They are all there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you know this, hallelujah, because you are right relationship with God, you can take authority over any work of the enemy. You can say no to the world, no to the flesh, no to the devil, and say yes. Say this, this, the secret is, you can say no to the world, the flesh, and the devil, and not say yes to the Holy Spirit. Say so in both ways, you have to say no to the world, the flesh, the devil, and say yes. Say yes. Yes. Okay, yes. when you say yes to the Holy Spirit, you agree to go to surrender to the Holy Spirit. Or you can be saying, no, 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 no. You don't surrender yourself to God. That will happen. Because in the neutral gear, say neutral. Neutral. I mean, you put your car in the neutral, it's not going anywhere. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and to put it in drive. Amen. Right. Drive it, drive it. I mean, drive it here into the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. With John chapter 12, verse 24. John 12, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if, if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. 26. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Do you say that? Yes. Yeah. 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 The old man has to die. Yeah. Amen. The new man. Say new man. New man. Yeah. You put in the new man. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Yeah. Which is Christ's nature. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that good? Amen. 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 Now, we saw this is, we said Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Paul also said the same thing. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31.
First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31. First Corinthians 15, verse 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I am in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I die daily. You hear that? This is Paul. This is Paul. <laughs> Amen. I die daily. No wonder God used Paul so powerfully. Because what? He did not do his own thing. Say, do his own thing. He didn't do his own thing. Why does the Holy Spirit want to use us? Because he uses people. He doesn't use angels. He wants to use us. So you have to allow him. Say, allow him. Allow him. To use us. Use us. You have to know that what he hates, don't do that. Amen. Abstain. Say, abstain. 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 Everything he hates. And uh, when you make mistakes, repent immediately. Who forgive you? Don't be that yourself and all those things. Because uh, you're learning to walk with him. Say, learn to walk with him. How do you walk him? By talking to him. He likes conversation. Holy Spirit loves attention. You have to understand. Amen. Oh, yes. He loves to be appreciated. Oh, yes. If you don't give the attention, thank you. He doesn't manifest. So, also, I love you. I appreciate you. I cherish you. You talk to him. Amen. And we we'll let him. Talk to him, talk to you back, hallelujah. Amen. Any instruction he speaks, he tells you, you go to what? You're obedient, stay obedient. Because when, you, when the flesh is crucified, your heart is tender. The hardness is gone. You're able to hear and obey. And he is not going to tell you everything. He tell you, peace. And watch whether you obey or not. Amen. Watch. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's like, it's like a car light. You turn your car light on, a car, if your light on, if it's parked, it's not moving. Right. You can only see it to a certain distance. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then when you drive, yeah, man, then it moves. Holy is always drawing us, a drawing us. Drawing us. And we have to yield to him. So he draws. So when he draws, he draws. and I obey. And I obey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And you give instruction, it doesn't will not make sense to your mind. Don't dispute him. Say dispute him. Dispute him. Let's come to Philippians chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are showing the secret how you want God to use you. <laughs> Maybe it makes sense. It's tell you to do. If I know it's him, that's obedient. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Philippians. Philippians 2, 14. Philippians 2, 14. Do all things without murmurings or in disputings. You hear that? Yeah. Do all things Thanks. without murmuring and disputing. disputing. For he hates complaining. He hates <coughs> murmuring. He, he hates whining, fasting. He doesn't like that. Yeah. If you are doing that, he will pull back from you. He will not manifest. No more intimacy until you get back and repent. Amen. Say repent. Repent. Yes. Say and apply the voice to wash you clean. See, remember you want, you want him to, how can somebody use you when you're always disputing with him? How can he do that? Or if you're challenging authority. That's it. If you're constantly challenging the authority, which means the person that God put over you. Amen. Let's say if a wife always challenges her husband, then they're not going to use by the Lord. Yeah. If a, if a uh, employee always challenges the supervisor, they're not going to be they're not going to be promoted. If uh, if a um, uh, if a person's going through boot camp and in training they they challenge the sergeant, they're going to be in the in the that prison thing. Whatever they call it, in the, break. In the break. That's what it is. They'll be in the break because they. You know, people in the military know how to respect authority. They're taught how to respect authority and discipline. Because the very discipline that they are taught is able to keep them from being killed when they have to fight in the war. So we're fighting the enemy. We're fighting the devil. And the very things that you dispute and despise and, and ignore are the very things that you're going to get hit by. The enemy is going to attack you. Those are the very things the enemy is going to attack you. So in order to keep yourself from being attacked by the enemy, it's obedience and dying to yourself daily to protect yourself. You have to be able to stay under authority. If you can't um, obey the pastor, if you can't take rebuke, 
then then you're gonna um, you're not gonna be able to grow. All of us are corrected. The Holy Spirit is very strict, and He'll correct us. And, and so we're, he, that's because He loves us so much. He corrects us out of love. He doesn't want us to keep going the wrong way, keep going down the wrong path that's going to lead to destruction. So He wounds us to Himself to bring us out of that. So say, okay, do this, do that. And then you jump over so many different hurdles. It said, this person is going to do this today to you. Don't say this to them so that you're protected. You know, don't fall into this. Don't get into strife with this person that's going to try to get you into strife. If a person gets in strife on their job, they could lose their job. You know, but God, the enemy might use somebody to try to get them in strife on purpose so they can lose their job. So all those, those different things, you're under attack, so you have to protect yourself. And how do you protect yourself? By, by going Jesus' way. By going, putting, putting on Him, putting, taking on the Holy Spirit, dying to your old nature, and going His way. Amen. That's so true. Praise the living God. Yes. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Spirit. It's my helper. It's my it's helper. helper. Okay. If you look unto Him, He will help you. Work over crucified the flesh will help you out to know things. It's a helper. That's why he's there. He's sent to help us. But how can you help you if you're always pushing him aside? He can help you. <laughs> or you push aside the person that he wants to use to help you. Yeah, right. Because he works through people. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true, preacher. <laughs> but you're the main man. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Repeats 2 verse 12. Are you enjoying this? Yes. Yeah. Is it helping you all? Yes. Yeah. So we want God to use everybody here. Amen. God wants to use everybody. That's right. Everybody, God wants to use them. Yeah. But you have to know how to surrender. Say surrender. 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 To the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Say, to surrender. But moment by moment. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, what does that mean? How do you work out our salvation with fear and trembling? By calling on the Holy Spirit. Who is the spirit of salvation? See, we partnership with Him. Holy Spirit, what's your next step? What do you want me to do now? What's your counsel in this matter? Don't be presumptuous and say, Oh, well, it looks good, then jump into it. No, Amen. you jump to it, may sink. I may not even get up again. <laughs> Always ask Him. Right. Holy Spirit, because it's a helper, he's standing beside him, he's in you. Holy Spirit, what's your counsel on this, what's your instruction concerning this matter? Speak to me, Lord. I know I'm not moving unless you talk to me. Amen. See? Then what this hour, you are relying on, because he's much more willing to speak to you and I, more than we are willing. That's why it's a comforter. Say comforter. Comforter. Say comforter. Comforter. You know, the word comforter in Greek means para, parakletos, yeah. me, me, Comforter, helper, teacher, counselor, advocate, intercessor, and strengthener. See, the strengthness. See, he's the same spirit that raised Christ from the quicken a mortal body. <laughs> when you feel tired, and then you work all day, you feel tired, Holy Spirit, come and strengthen me. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and quicken a mortal body. But if you don't ask him, you will not manifest. The Bible said, We have no because we ask us. See, after you ask him, he help you in the, that situation. The next situation, if you don't call upon him, he will not show up. He's there waiting for you to call upon him again. See, and why did, does he do that? To break our own pride, because pride is self-sufficient. Yes, that's right. Okay? <laughs> but if you're humble, you always look up to him. So he, Holy Spirit has some people more than he help, help others, because those who look unto him more and more, they get the benefit. Mm -hmm. And those who are so sufficient don't get nothing. Even though they are Christian. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. See? And this, those who look up to me, those are the people who will use. Because the end, say end. Right. He won his trust. Earn his trust. Thank you, Jesus. As I look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Yes. Yes. If he's the author, that means he created the faith. He put the faith in us because we accepted him to be Lord of our lives. He put the faith in us. And he's the, uh, he's the so he's the author and then he's the finisher. Mm -hmm. The reason he's the finisher because he, he took everything to the, 
our, he took all sin to the cross so that it, it was fit when he said it, but it was, when he took, did it, he, he died for all humanity. He took all humanity's sins upon himself. And because he did that, he's the finisher. Well, he's the author of your faith because um, it says without faith it's impossible to please him. So if we don't believe in him, we can't please him. If we don't trust him, we can't please him. So he's the author and finisher of our faith because he took it all, all to the cross so we could have, have life and have more abundantly. So that's why he's called the finisher. Mm -hmm. See, we hear that here he says we work our salvation with fear and trembling. The fear he means obedient. Mm -hmm. Yes. Reverence. It's not fear that he's going to kill you or set thunder and throw you up. No. Right. Yeah. Strike with lightning, though. Amen. We work out. Say work out. Work out. How? Or we work with him. Say work with him. Work with him. How do you know that? First Corinthians chapter three, verse nine. First Corinthians three, verse nine. So when you understand this, you take the limit of God, take the limit of yourself, and let him use you. Amen. See, he will not use you to the office you call yourself. He will only use you to the office he call you. Amen. That's right. Oh, yes. Those are people that call themselves apostle, prophet, all those things. <laughs> okay, Kakana. You will not manifest. Because you, you, stole the, you stole the office, not to manifest. See? For what he calls, then you are well, fulfilled. Yeah. He anoints, anoints yeah. the person he calls. See? We're going to go on it this evening. This teaching is so deep that we can cover all this evening. How to be used, of course. It's a wide topic. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Very, very wide. Deep, deep stuff. Inside, hallelujah. Praise the living God. We also know every Tuesday we'll be teaching on this. How to be used of God. Tuesday. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because really, at times we come. It changes if we just go back all he says. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, he's the boss. Amen. Amen. That's my intention. That's my prayer. Because changes on Tuesday or whatever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just go with, our, with his flow. Amen. Because not by might, but by power is on our spirit. Amen. So we are laborers together with God. <coughs> he has God husbandry. He has God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a master. Master builder, I have laid the foundation and I now build them. But let every mower take it however he build them on. See, we can only take it to build them on by the help of the Holy Spirit. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 6, verse 1. Second Corinthians 6, verse 1. We that as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. You see that? Mm -hmm. We are working together with him. It's by his grace he uses us. Not by performance. Are you listening? Yes. Amen. There are some people I read three, four chapters, I pray and turn around. <coughs> I'm telling you my own experience. <coughs> many, many years ago, early Aries. I was holding crusade in a different city. And uh, the power of God was moving powerfully. I prayed in tongues for 16 hours. 16. Okay? Then God moved powerfully. The next day, say, I'm going to pray. I prayed for 18 hours. I shall pray in tongues for 18 hours. And when did nothing happen? Well, because I was depending on my performance. Are you listening? It's God will not it's by the grace of oh, no, God because he God didn't tell me to pray 18 hours. I choose. I say, well, now I pray 18 hours. I say, well, God, move more. Amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not by might, not by power, it's by what? Yeah. By my spirit. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. But let that be my hand away. Amen. See? You want God to use you, you have to depend on him. He will tell you, tell you things you need to do, things to avoid, and it will have praise. Because every day it's different. Learn to worship. Say worship. 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 There are three categories. You'll be a true worshiper. Say worshiper. Worshiper. Then you'll be what? 
a warrior or prayer warrior. Amen. Mm -hmm. Out of you before you can work with him. No worship, no prayer, you can't work with him. It's always like that. You worship God in spirit and in truth. How do you worship? Are you obedient? So all the three of all of three of them depend on obedience. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not saying praise, worship. Worship is intimate. Mm -hmm. Amen. From the heart. Worship him, they will become warrior. Say warrior. Because the Bible says we, we, pray, we fight the good fight of faith. Amen. We are prayer warrior. We the same. Holy Spirit uses it to the same. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Amen. To pray with him. Then we can work, work with him. Say work with him. Work with him. See, through all those first and second stage, you can have his mind. Through worship. Because worship always brings revelation. Right. See, Elisha, when the people came to him, the kings came to him, second king. He said, bring me more minstrels. They brought minstrels, they didn't have law care upon him. Their revelation gave flows. If you see also, if you see many times we are ministering here, you saw a stop, start worshiping the Lord. Then the kids start flowing. So worship. He will always sing the song he gave us, not our own song. That's right. See? The song he gives to us, that's how we sing. If we can sing as much as he wants. See? You can see this, we can song, sing the same song today. On Friday, you sing different song. It may not manifest. Because we shall allow him to choose. Say, choose. Choose. You see, and we follow. These are the secrets. They are known. Being yeah. used by God. And that's how the anointing falls. See. Because we're saying exactly what he wants us to say. And that's when the anointing, <coughs> you start feeling the anointing, you start feeling the presence of the Lord. The people have good singing voices, but they don't sing what God wants them to sing. See it. They, no one feels any anointing. See. They're listening, it sounds good, but there's no presence of the Lord from that song. You see, so that's why it's key, just we sing exactly what he wants us to sing. It may sound like we're singing the same thing over and over, over and over, that's what he wants us to sing, but that's what we do. We just do no more, no less. That's it. We do exactly what he wants you to do. And out of that obedience, oh, people don't realize that obedience is a form of worship. Yes, you worship him in song, but yes, worshiping him on a daily basis is obeying what he wants you to do on a daily basis. Yeah. And that's an, another form of worship, is, is obedience to everything he tells you to do. Because he, he, that means you're pleasing him. So pleasing God is worshiping him. When you obey, you please him. And you work, that's worshiping him. And when you worship him, praise the living God. Mm -hmm. Then you become closer to him. Say closer. 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 See, he draws you to himself. He loves worship. He loves appreciation. He loves adoration. He loves respect, honor, worship. The Holy Spirit loves all those things. When you do that, hallelujah. So will become his very, 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 very. At the time he will tell us, you haven't praised me today. What's wrong? He said, Lord, forgive me. So I come to him. When we go out, go out to run errands, we come home, or if you tell us, welcome home, my children, I miss you. See, this is a fellowship. Yeah. You talk to us. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At times, sometimes we were about to go someplace, and uh, I forgot my driving license, amen, my purse, my billfold. He told me, hey, you forgot your billfold. Go and get it. So he reminds, this, this, this fellowship, he wants everyone to have. Remind us. See? Mm -hmm. Why? Because he he knows we we'll obey him. Hallelujah. So that so he's very personable. personable very interesting, very intricate details in your life. Okay. But you have to let him come into all those areas. Mm -hmm. See, by talking to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At times we see him manifest in a like a pillar of cloud. And you say, Let's dance. We start dancing with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. See? It's like a white cloud. We'll be doing like this, hallelujah, moving, hallelujah. The other time we see him in the air, like a pillar of fire, and the voice will come, speak out, say, and, and, and tell us things. See? These are the manifestation of intimate relationship we have with him, hallelujah. This is the thing we are telling you tonight, hallelujah. Praise the living God. We don't seek for it, we just seek him. We see all this manifestation. The other time you come and touch on your back, you look around, you don't face anybody. It's him. Mm -hmm. 
manifestation. At that you rub your head. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sometimes, I'll tell you this, it's embarrassing. I woke up in the morning, I start talking to him, he said, go brush your teeth before you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. You can see this manifestation. These are intimate things, hallelujah. We don't read the book, hallelujah. This is what I experience it with him. Some of them, hallelujah, praise the living God. And go on to have, have you all the same experience, Amen. even much more. Amen. See, but it depends how you are cultivating, how your obedient level with him, hallelujah. You do things with you, not do with any people, because he can trust you himself. The way time you crack joke with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm still taking some of the jokes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, kind of. He's so personal, he's so real. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen? He talks to you. You see, the key is really obedient to him. Really obedient. He speaks. Don't dispute, don't fall, don't. Because if you do that, then you start pulling back and manifest the presence. Are you here? Yeah. And when the service too, he will show you who to call first. He says, call this one. That's right. When he shows us who to call, at that he didn't tell us anything until the person came before us, before he shows us what's going on. So what? He wanted to trust him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's why our life is always been led. With that kind of experience, you don't want to live in the flesh anymore. You want to live in the spirit. Because that's what fun is. That's exciting, because you don't know what he's going to do next. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He may have planned something one day, and he changed his whole thing. Yeah. Um, a couple weeks ago, we, we he told us to drive out to this uh, this lake out. What was that? What was that? Yeah. St. Louis Lake. Oh, St. Louis Lake. And then we Lake St. Louis. St. Louis. So we drove out there, and uh, he told us to pray over that area, do some things out there, and then we he told us to go to the Walmart, Super Walmart that was right by there. So we did. And then uh, the Lord led me to buy some salads to eat there at the Walmart because it was around lunchtime. So we did. And then all of a sudden this lady started talking to us and saying how good the salads were. And she said, well, you can sit over there and eat them at this, uh, I think there's like Subway in the, in the Super Walmart. So we went over there to eat them. And then she came over there to eat her lunch. Well, and I started talking to her. I said, do you know the Lord? And she said she did. And then she started telling me that she had just moved to St. Louis Two, two months ago, and then her husband was a helicopter pilot, and then she was here, she, so she had, or maybe two, two weeks ago, so anyway, she, uh, so we talked to her, told her about the church, the services, and invited her to come and, and pray with her, because she has uh, physical problems in her body, so, but, see, God led us to one place just to reach her that day, we had no idea that we were going to reach out, be, reach out to this lady, so he took us through all this chain of events just to talk to this lady, to pray for her. So he's more interested, he's an interest in souls. So if you're open and you make yourself available to him and he, and he keeps, he just leads you, he just one step leads to the next. Because if I went and walked over there and looked at the sounds and said, honey, why don't we get these? He said, you know, okay, let's get them. And then she started talking to me and, and then she said, well, you can eat over there. And she just comes over there and she starts eating her lunch and we had a chance to talk to her. So it's just, it's um, unique. You know, yes. it's exciting when he leads you and you, you know, feel happy that the Lord wants to use you that way. He took us all the way out there, 30, 40 miles away from where we live. We drove out there. For one soul. For one person. Person. He's looking for obedient. So obedient. Obedience. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. See, and this manifestation, hallelujah, I want to pray a special prayer over you tonight. It's safe, so I can work. The God of breakthrough, when only with you, will 
be in your house. Say, my house. My house. It's a temple. Amen. It's a God of breakthrough. Hallelujah. So you can descend and know his will, his way. Know his mind. And be willing to yield. Say, yield. Yield. Amen. We're going to pray religion, tradition, legalism. Which you signed up for years. Got to go. Amen. Amen. Holy is a person. Amen. See? He only uses hallelujah, pre uses hallelujah, those he can trust. So you trust him, but what he will it to his leading, to his guidance, to his instruction. Hallelujah. And every day is different. That's right. There were times I just got up in the morning and said, Go read the Bible. See, he tells me who to read, when to read, he tells me everything. Same thing to my wife, Hallelujah. They always tell us when to read the Bible, where to read, and all. So when we read it, now give us understanding. Then we ask Him, Holy Spirit, you are the one who wrote the Bible. Teach me, show me what you are saying here in the Word. Then we bring the revelation. And sometimes He just starts t telling you some things. You start reading and He starts showing you things. Just where, uh, where you where you start to read, He just starts speaking to you, just showing you things about what you're reading. So that, you know, it's, and it's edifying and it administers to you because you're not just going by someone's Bible study that they said, yes. the, yeah. you know, you can read the Bible in a year yeah. and you read all these, there's the, a lot of the Bibles it says, it has a section in the back of the Bible that says you can read the Bible in a year and you have scriptures every day that you read, but that's not edifying. It's, it's more edifying when the Holy Spirit um, leads you to what is what you, what you're going to need for that day or week or you're going to need that to minister to somebody else you're going to need that scripture that he shows you or he starts talking to you about someone this is what this person is going through i'll show you the scripture in the bible and it makes it more it's more interesting it's more edifying and you feel uh, you just feel uplifted that he took enough time to start explaining the scriptures to you and it's it's more personable to each person and um, at times you just you just go and read the Bible and I just read one verse. That's all. Say stop. That's all I want you to read today. One verse. Hello. One verse. So that's it. It's okay, Lord. And church. Thank you, Jesus. See, that's the fellowship, communion, hallelujah, praise the living God. Uh, the previous day I mean I read two, five chapters, hallelujah, but today it's different. It's Some, not a burden. Some days, hallelujah, I don't even read the Bible, can never let me do it. I'm not encouraging you to read the Bible, either. that's my work. <laughs> so, this is so real, so personable, and it also gives you interpretation of what you are reading. It is there to comfort. See, anytime you always ask me, what do you mean about this? See, thank you, Lord Jesus. You give me understanding. Say, give me understanding. Give me understanding. This is the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus, when we ask him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, and his gift is in you and I. Well, let's come to Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4. So, I said this. so many things, so many, so much in one share tonight, but praise the Lord, we can see how this is going to place. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 1. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 4. It's in the Old Testament. Genesis, Ezra, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Verse 2, ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. Okay, that is what he hates. When he tells you something, don't add or subtract. That's what he grieve him. I think, I think you are smarter than him. Amen? Okay. How many of you sometimes you go somewhere else and to go and do something? He led you there and say, oh, I'm going to see a friend who is close by. You know, I told you to go and see that friend. You are adding. That's it. And it's great. You see? Or you subtract what it told you to do. So you never add. Say never add. Never add. That's how you see here. You see here. Uh, this area, God gave us specific ones. So God, he gave me Tina's name, Adriel, and 
That's what the, that's not only the rest I'm anointed. The rest I'm anointed too. But I have to I shouldn't add to what he has not added. Amen. See? That's pleasing the Holy That's how they allow him to use you. That's right. <laughs> See? Don't add. Say don't add. Don't add. Or subtract. Or subtract. Right. You always teach or you give her to teach. You're going to see it. This happened to Moses too. Amen. Keep on please. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it. The word diminish means remove. It's an old English word. Deduct or remove. Amen. Or take away from. That's what diminish means. From it that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Verse 3. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Balpur. For all the men that follow Balpur, the Lord thy God hath destroyed them from among you. See, when the go to the better step, people of this. Verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Say cleave. Cleave. That's the secret of the Holy Spirit. We go to cleave to him. Yes. Don't get loose. Cleave. Spirit, soul, and body. Cleave to him. Mm -hmm. The Lord to be cleave. When you cleave, then you both of you are rising higher. Mm -hmm. right? Say cleave. 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 You cleave to be used. <laughs> Don't cleave to him. He can, there's no way he can use you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say, cleave. Cleave. 24-7. How do we cleave to the Holy Spirit? Yeah. We cleave to him by being obedient to follow his instruction. Amen. We are passionately in love with him. Passionately obedient. That's how we cleave to him. No passion, no fervency of love. We can cleave to him. See? And what he hates, don't do what he likes, do it. Because you become passionate. Love it. Passionate. And love it. And cleave it. Say cleave it. Cleave it. Amen. Or embrace it. Embrace it. Because a person. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It has, to start, it has to start from your heart. If you regard iniquity in your heart, God what? He won't hear you. You can't cleave to your if you have issue against him, against anyone. Amen. So he can use you. You have to resolve those issues. Get rid of those excess baggage. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you just you just set yourself aside. Right. And you pick somebody else. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes? When uh, you were talking about cleaving, sometimes the, the enemy will try to get people just to be, um, like say, just accept the status quo, which means they, you know, they always do the same thing. They're just complacent. You know, they don't want to go any further. They just like, say, let's say they start, the enemy would try to get them in a rut where they're apathetic. Yeah. They're not excited. They're not passionate. They're not really, um, you know, seeking them. They just kind of take it for granted. Right. And when you find your, if you, if you fit, get into that mode, then you got to, you know, you to check your heart and say, Lord, why am I just, you know, just passive? You know, you just have a, like a passive kind of attitude. You're not excited about anything. You just, you come to church and you just, you know, sit there and listen, you don't really get involved and, you know, you find yourself doing that and you start examining yourself and see why that's happening. You know, there could be some sin problem that you're not aware of that's blocking you from really receiving and being on, you know, what we call it on fire for the Lord, really um, seeking Him with your whole heart and being excited about what He's doing and excited to talk to Him and have Him talk back to you and excited to listen to Him and obey Him and do what He's calling you to do because you know that it's going to lead to something even better that you're not even aware, aware of. You know, when you find yourself not doing those things, then you know there's something that's not right in your heart. And examine yourself. It's not always something wrong with somebody else. You have to look at yourself first and see where you're at. Right. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. Are you enjoying the teaching? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, wait well, I mean, This teaching, if you apply it, you walk with the Holy Spirit is so rich. So intimate, yeah. you see, then you will not be able what to go any other way by his ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That's a choice you have to make. Nobody can do that for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a personal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm going to use you. There's a price. These are the price we pay to be used by God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then mm -hmm. he becomes so real to you uh, that you. Uh, it's easy to communicate with him as a person. And just, a lot of times, I just worship him like spirit to spirit. It's, talk, it's talking to him spirit to spirit within your spirit. Mm -hmm. 
talk to him, sing to him, he'll give you songs, you just keep worshiping him. Because yeah. sometimes you're in a public place or you're at work, you can't say things out loud, so you have to learn how to worship him spirit to spirit and talk to him. You ask him questions, he'll talk back to you in your spirit. Amen. You see? But if, and you, if, when you teach, train yourself how to do that, then that's like your ongoing relationship fellowship. You can be laying, laying down in bed, you're just talking to the Lord. Amen. You're not necessarily you know, on your knees sometimes, but you're just laying there, you're just communing with him, fellowshipping with him spirit to spirit. Amen. And he's talking to you, you're just worshiping him, you know, praising him. Sometimes if you find that you don't have like a song in your heart for him, you say, Lord, a lot of times there's something that's blocking you from having a song or being joyful or being excited about it. So you examine yourself and say, Lord, where, what is it? What am, where am I missing? What am I doing wrong? It's, you know, not pleasing you. And he'll show you and you just get back on track and you repent. If you're not aware of anything, just say, Lord, you know, help me to be willing and obedient and so I can eat the good of land, so I can continue ongoing fellowship with you. Because when you, when you don't hear his voice, when that fellowship, when you feel kind of dry or feel like something's amiss, then you know something's not right in your heart. And then you go back to him and say, Lord, you just pray a prayer of repentance. And be specific if you know what it is. And if it, say, Lord, cleanse on me from secret faults. Because sometimes you have things that you're not aware of that you're doing that displease the Lord. Out of ignorance or just not knowing that you, that's how he looks at it. It's not right. So... You check yourself, examine yourself, and repent for those things and get back on track, and you find he's giving you a song again. He's singing back to you. You're talking to him again. As things are going, you know, it's like people say in the world, you've got, you got it going on. you got it going on with that Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. That's so true. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Verse 5. Same chapter, verse 5. You know, Deuteronomy 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded that yeah. he commanded me. That's a secret. He only taught the children of Israel, Moses, what God gave him. Not his own theory, not his own opinion, not his own presumptuousness, what God gave him. That's why Ezekiel, in the, Ezekiel chapter 37, what did Ezekiel do? He prophesied as the Lord commanded him. That, see, as a Lord. So many people are doing things. They say the same things with Holy Ghost never gave them. And they say it's the Holy Ghost. That's why there's no manifestation. There's no change. That's right. See, we have to say exactly what He gave to us. Jesus did the same thing in John chapter 12. He said, What the Father gave to me, I gave to you. I speak as I was commanded. Say, Commanded. Amen. See, only obedient person can follow commandments. That's right. Rebellious people don't follow. They cast the word of God behind them and do their own thing. And there's no God in it. See, or he's wounded. Say wounded. Wounded. He goes back. Mm -hmm. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, that is why we knew what? Holy Spirit is very sensitive. Can be easily wounded. Can be easily hurt. And those who are full of him, are, are the, they are the same way. They're very sensitive. He's the most treated person we ever know, the Holy Spirit. Thank you. There are times you wake as say wake. Wake. And sometimes you, you wake as something you do. You may not even check you. You do that next time. You lay on you. So, ah, it's time to grow up now. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we see how real this person is. And he wants to involve in any area of your life if you let him. The choice is yours. You have to let him. Connect with him. Thank you, Jesus. Ask him about everything. Say everything. everything. Never presume anything. Ask him everything. Mm -hmm. See, when he's using you, like, pray for people. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Like, often we don't touch people unless you say touch. We stretch our hand towards them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When you say touch, then we do. You say don't touch, we don't touch. That's not mean they are, they are bad spirit or uh, anything wrong with them. Because we are under his instruction. Right. The word is trying. Say the word. The word is trying. Yes. Everything you do, that's what we tell you here. Everything is always be led. Amen. You see why we are telling you now? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Everything is be led. You see, when you are doing that, that's how you get closer to Him, to know Him more intimately. Then the more you know Him, the more He reveals Himself to you. The more He changes. Well, my wife and I were in, uh, in uh, Florida. 
couple years ago, I went to pray for this lady. The moment we are about 50 feet from a hole, she felt the anointing. Say, before you got came, I felt it's like a wind. Come and blow. <laughs> you know, 50 feet from a hole. She should have felt the anointing because he's gone before. Because he told us many years ago that his only in this opponent is, is extended several, several miles away from us. He told us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At that time when the service, hallelujah, we ask you to come, to come and come closer before that. It feel a wall of fire around us. Mm -hmm. He established that. Yeah, they can't even get close to us. That's it. Because of the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. last, last, last Sunday there was a lady called Shelly. It's a black lady. She was about to go. She was about to uh, harm her. I said, Sister, we have not going to stay. And not going to stand. Boom. Okay, she, she pressed onto her. She had boom. She was on the floor. Because it's not me, the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Presence. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to be everybody. See? But you have to that our own will, our own plan, and know how to please. Say please. Please, please. please. The Holy Spirit. If you know how to please Him, He will be able to use you. That's right. And your Christian life will be fun. Fun. It, yeah. It's fun. To, it'll be fun to serve the Lord. Because yeah. He'll do things that for you that He won't do for other people because you have a closer walk yeah. with Him. Yeah. You know, and, and, uh, they, and uh, God does have a sense of humor. You know, He'll do things just to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. You know? show you things and it's because he deals with each person on their own personality mm -hmm. he knows each one of you individually that's what's so unique about god you know he made us he knows each one of us he knows what we like he knows what we don't like Amen. you know and he he wants to um give you the desires of your heart he wants to give you things that you like <clears throat> but he, he demands it's a, the price to pay is to be obedient that's it to be able to receive and the more when he starts talking to you, learn to obey it. Because if you disobey him, you have to go back to the place you disobey him and repent. Mm -hmm. Go back to the Lord. Uh, the specific what you disobey him about, he forgives you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We can just go on and on tonight, hallelujah. But our sense is changing here. Say changing. 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 All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you enjoy this? Amen. Amen. Paul said, my preaching and my teaching are not in enticing my wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit and what? Power. Power. He wants you to manifest the demonstration what we just told you a few minutes ago. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen. Are you all cold? A little bit. How many of you are cold? I'm just step far on you. Okay. You still cold? Yeah. Come here, please. Say, Lord, send fire on me. Say, Lord, send your fire. Lord, send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire. I want to know you. I want to know you. Okay. Get this for yourself. Send down your fire. Send down your fire. For me. For me. And my husband. And my husband. Right now. Right now. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. For real. For real. Deal. Deal. With the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Come. 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 Take over, Take over. My, life. my life. I surrender. I surrender. No, more no more struggling. Teach me how to yield. Teach me how, to how, to how to surrender to you, to you. Moment, by moment. moment by moment. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. going to mental torment lately. Is that true? Not any more woman of God. May the Holy Spirit will show the person he's working through. 
a word. Say a word. A word, a word from God word. concerning a certain fact and truth of the present and also of the past. It's a word of knowledge. You can get to First Corinthians chapter 12. Amen. From verse 7 onward, hallelujah. There are three manifestations. You still call? Very <coughs> well. There are three manifestations of the gift of the spirit. We call it word of knowledge. Amen. And word of wisdom. Word of wisdom is a word concerning things in the future. John chapter 16, verse 13 says he will show you things to come. Remember that? Yeah, okay. And then another gift, manifestation of the gift is descending of spirit. We will descend with spirit involved, whether the word of whether from the devil or the flesh or the Holy Spirit. All these three gifts are called revelation gifts. Say revelation gift. Revelation. Sometimes we go to take time to show you in the Bible. Amen. But this is how it's happening now. Hallelujah. If you're asking how God uses her. You say, God, I just saw her and I saw a white cloud over her. Say white cloud. White cloud. Okay, that's the presence of the Lord. May God wants to, to call her first. If I were to call somebody else, not to manifest. Hello, that's what you have to be. Dependent. dependent. Say dependent. dependent. On the Holy Spirit. Then when I call her, God didn't show me as mental torment there. God didn't show me that until she came here. Right. For God revealed. Amen. So it's a step of faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Thank you. God has more to tell her. Amen. You always read it. Progressive. Say progressive. 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 As you speak it. If you don't speak it, not your flow. Not to speak it. Amen. Amen. That's it. As that he says, Hallelujah. Praise the living God that He will manifest. After He's done, then we thank the Lord. Say thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let's give the Lord praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give praise. Give praise. Give praise. Hallelujah. And this gift is for all believers. All revelation gift, utterance gift, power gift. You see, you see the spirit of the Lord say you. But most of the time, we don't know how to connect. Say connect. Amen. And let it flow. That's what we're sharing this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And it happens by reason of use. The more you use it, the That's more it. you're sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And the more you use that gift, the more it, the more it happens. Right? Yeah, that's true. The more you use it, use it or lose it. That's a, it's the same way in the world that it's in this, it, you know, in your natural body as it is in the uh, spirit realm. The more you use your spiritual gifts, the more he quickens, the more he sharpens you, the more you, the more you exercise that gift, the more he uses you. I mean, you you're, you're more sensitive to him. To yes. He speaks to you. Right, it's in Hebrew chapter 5. Amen. We are allowing to use S. That's what the gift I use. I don't, you can quench him. So I don't want to say, I'm scared. Then you quench him. <laughs> then he can use you. Never quench him. Yeah. Or you say, oh, I don't want to talk to that person. Yeah. You know, if you don't want to talk to the person, then he'll just, he has to go find somebody else. Right. Ma'am, can you stand up, please? Carmen? Me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> can you stay? Can you stay? Pardon? Yes, please. How do you think of tonight's teaching? Uh, good. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's the second time, two days, that the Lord has given me that teaching to take up the cross. And I just want to tell you that nobody wants to take up a heavy cross. <laughs> and But tonight you explained to me that it's really abandoning ourselves to the Lord. Right, saying, right, you know, right. that we, you know, when Jesus died on the cross, our sins were nailed with them, you know. That's true. That's right. We'll be back to you later, okay? Stay tuned. Just bask in his presence. <laughs> Everything you say is all true. Let's give the Lord praise. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. The Lord said, my daughter, my daughter, take one day at a time, one day at a time. From with you, I'll not let you down, I'll not fail you. The pain of the past behind you, the struggle is over, for I, I have seen you through, I've seen you through. And I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving in your circumstances, I'm moving powerfully in your life. So keep yielding to me, I'm well pleased with you. And this prophecy can be for anyone here, not only for her. Amen. Listen, you have to take the limit of God, Amen. Yeah. so that you can cash in. Say cash in. Cash in. Cash in. The word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We are teaching how you can receive. Hallelujah. Even though we are ministering to her, 
There are other people, their body also needs the same way. You see, then you receive him and enjoy, hallelujah, pray, so you don't deprive yourself. Yes. Amen? Amen. That's why you may hear that, you may hear the prophet may hear the same thing all over, over again. That's like the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Why do you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Because what? God at times re emphasis or repeat himself. That you have Mark, Mark, Matthew, Mark. Most of the time, Matthew said, Mark said the same thing, Luke said almost the same thing, John just said the same thing. Because the Holy Spirit is what is there always the mouth of two or three witnesses what let everywhere be established. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. That is why Jesus, hallelujah, by the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. All that he said in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, hallelujah, is the same thing. But you have to understand that to reinforce into you, I mean, to establish in your heart. So you don't doubt God and say, Hallelujah, praise the living God. Amen. 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 You have been asking the Lord to show you, to use you in the area of dreams and visions. Pardon me, what? You have been asking the Holy Spirit to use you in the area of dreams and vision and able to interpret dreams and vision. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you want me to ask him? I'm sorry, sir. You said you've been asking. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Other people have pro prophetic dreams. I said, can I have one? Yes. 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 <laughs> Even those we ask to catch in our services, he tells us whom to catch. He tells to use, if you tell to use somebody, we call somebody else. Boom, we blah, not to happen. Because he doesn't want a little level what? To level the whole world. To whom much is given what? That's why we don't play game the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit could quench any act which is not of God. We just live quietly. When the Holy Ghost comes to your life, everybody knows this. When he leaves, he leaves quietly. You know, you know. That's true. What happened to Samson? He shook himself. I know he's left. He saw the same, shook himself. It's gone. The manifestation is gone. Amen. That's why it's key to please the Holy Spirit. Please, please it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are telling the secret. I can keep on your life. I love you talk to that. We apply it. There's so much more we can teach. But see, he wants to change. We just, we are under his authority. That's what we start ministry, you say, Holy Spirit, come and help me to cooperate with you. Help me to minister to say exactly what you want to say. You just, you're asking him to get for help, but before you start ministering, you're calling on the Lord saying, Holy Spirit, come and help me. Because I can't do it on my own, I don't know nothing except for what you tell me. Is it God good? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We exalt the Holy Spirit. We Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the Holy Spirit has been giving you words. I want to be 
clearly for give you understanding when you read the Bible, hallelujah. Things become just blank from the page, hallelujah, to you, and become so something like a nugget you great you great unto. Is that true? Yes. Let's bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord also is showing you things concerning your family at home. What is going on with every individual one of them? Amen. And it blows you, blows you out of the water. These are the manifestations of the word of knowledge. Amen. What is going on in their life? Also, God's concerning her family. Thank you, Lord. You are not even here. Hallelujah. That's the, that's the manifestation of the gift of the Spirit. Called what? The word of knowledge. Amen. Amen. And also, the setting of spirit to show her that the visitation she had, she had is from the Holy Spirit. Not the sin of spirit. Amen? Amen. It's a discernment. Discernment. It's not give us suspicion or figure out. Uh -uh. It's a discernment of the Holy Spirit. It will show you what spirit, what is going on, whether it's the Holy Spirit or the flesh or the devil. Amen? Amen. Amen. So you're able to relate. And the gift is to you and I. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a stir up. Stir up. Stir up. Stir up the gift. Tell the gifts. All the gifts of the Spirit. Tell the them out. Stir them out. For me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you, you're, you're going to feel heat in your stomach. It's Him. Okay, Kakana. When you feel heat, stand up. When you feel heat in your stomach, stand up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire. Shut up in my bones. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9. Jeremiah 20 verse 9. This word is being stirred up. Say stirred up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Stir up. Hallelujah. Stir up. Stir up. Stir up the gift. Stir up the gift of the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. No more, same old, same old. Amen. Amen. How are you feeling, sir? Oh, I'm feeling good. Who did that? Holy Spirit. Let's bless the Holy Spirit. Okay, come on. You had a rough week last week. You had a rough week last week, hallelujah. But since the week began, things are coming down. Is that true? Yes. Have you told me? Yes. That's a word of knowledge. From the Holy Spirit. She didn't call me, he didn't call me or tell me anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the same gift is in you and I. Okay, stand in the middle there, please. Brother Andrew, can you, uh, brother, uh, Daryl. Daryl, okay. Now to have you this afternoon, this evening, also the pain you have been having, your knees and your body, brother Adriel, uh, brother, say Adriel. Daryl, it's, it's fun, now. check it out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Karen, did you tell me anything about him? No. So that's a word of knowledge. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a knowledge from God about him. Amen. Amen. Now, as you catch him, sir, the same I know will hit you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You ready? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No more practice in your body, Dara. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. Check it out. Check all the joints. It's all good. Neck, your shoulder. And Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, brother uh, Ellis, this is for you and your wife and your children. You Lord also, he's blending your family. He's blending. Just be faithful, because you're the head of the house under Christ. And also, he's touching your wife that to let you leave the house. Let you leave. Amen. 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 To not get on the way, hallelujah. Praise the living God. Okay, God. that's some of the problem you have in the past. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Not Jesus. anymore. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed by the glory of the Holy Spirit.
Now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, what, what is that? In Revelation chapter 1, verse 17. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why people fall under the power? Some of you know this scripture, but want to read it and to know that these are the manifestations. For the same spirit who gave the word is also addressing the need. Revelation 1, verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 1, 17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his hand, right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. That's what he does. He lays hand upon you. And bless you. Amen. That's not mean he's a weak Christian. No. That means he loved the presence of the Lord. Amen. That's just appetizer. God bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Janelle, the, um, when my husband started saying to um, Brother Ellis that he was having a rough week last week, the Lord said to me that you were having a rough, you had a rough day today. And that he is moving on your job. He's working everything out. So just keep yielding to him. Keep praising him. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> You see how much it's easy to minister? Because we are working with him. Amen. You're not working for him. You're working with, with him. him. He says, we surrender. He says, we surrender. Whatever he instructs, we just say, yes, Lord. That's why, he, that's why you see the manifestation. See that? No flesh yet. The Holy Ghost runs everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've also been having problems around your waist. It comes as a result of you lifting some stuff up. But he's subsiding and checking up your heel. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain? Thank you, Lord. You had the pain this morning? Yes. Where did he go? To never, never man or something. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's another one. The word of knowledge will tell you about what happened this morning. So we are now in the evening. That was in the past. Right. That he had the faith in the past. That was the word of wisdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, no, excuse me, the word of knowledge. Hallelujah. That he has in the past, which was this morning and this evening. He's healed. It's all word of knowledge. So we see healing and miracle flowing together from the same source. You hear that? One gift doesn't flow. It goes together. Word of knowledge, you have this. Okay, fine. The healing come of miracle. It was a miracle because God took it away instantly. Healing is a, a fruit of the process. Say process. 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 See? Process. It goes, see? But miracle happened instantly before I was. Amen. That's what happened to him. Amen. No one touch him. Check it out. Shake, shake, shake those waves up. Shake it off. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Same to Jenna, the Lord spoke to my wife. Word of knowledge, amen. And uh, and her following the power is a is a manifestation, is a sign and wonders manifestation. Hallelujah! Praise the living God of the Holy Spirit. When we talk about today, it's a you, it's upon us. So we can have better understanding what to surrender. Say surrender. Surrender and yield to it. With no cold sweat. Thank you, Jesus. So, amen. You understand this? Easy. Easy does it. Holy Ghost is he brings God of Eden down to us. It is easy. No struggle. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you learning something new? Yeah. Thank you, the Lord praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There are several ladies here, you're having female problems. God's healing you. I'm not going to call your name. I know you. Let's heal you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy God doesn't embarrass anyone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How do you feel, Daryl? Good. Good and dandy? What? Good and dandy? Good and dandy. All right. Let's pray for Zachary. Amen. Zachary, can you come, please? Can you stay behind, uh, behind your son, please? Can you come? I want to do something to come to the They made a hole on the top of your head and saw my feet. After this, you're going to do this work, okay? They made a hole, hole, creating miracle, restorating miracle, through the power of the blood Christ, to them. Like the lady who had the infirmed um, 
infirmity for like 18 years. He saw it. So he was able to say, you just touch my hand and you're healed. Mm -hmm. So the Lord, he saw it and then he acted on it. Mm -hmm. Now the Bible doesn't say that he saw in his spirit, but we know that he saw in his spirit because he allows us to see in his spirit. And the same things that he, like this scripture says, the same thing that he saw the Father do, he did likewise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You have been asked the Lord to give you healing ministry. Is that true? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, come in the middle here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Thank you, Jesus. do something. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you better guys now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's your knee. How is it? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay now. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. You feel anything? Anything on your side? Any, anything yet? <laughs> it's back, it's what? It's cracking. Wow. It's even now. Thank you, Jesus. It's even. Is it? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. You see, different your walk. You have a right there and come. Christians who say they are, they are Christians and living like a I the Lord God, hallelujah, I continue to reveal myself to you, I continue to minister to you even in the place of your job know that I have not let you down, I have not forsake you just reaching out, even before you come tonight, there are two things almost cause you not to come but you press your way through, you press your way through because you are hungry for my presence you are hungry for my spirit, is that true? yeah, that's true <laughs> Thank you, the Lord, praise. Okay, very much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You'll also be asking the Lord, and because she admitted it, she said, no, I will not have gone further. I just, I will not have given further. I said, okay, we'll see now. Because she admitted that, amen, amen. God's giving her more, yeah, yeah more revelation. You can block it, you can quench it, say, I don't believe that, it's not me, and deny it. You're not fully here, we know. Amen? Amen. But you just cut yourself from your blessing. <laughs> oh, yes! You see? Because the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, you can't lie to Him and expect Him to tell you more. You won't do that. Are you here? Because we don't know anything by ourselves. It's yes. the Holy Spirit that tells us. And if you deny it, then you're just lying to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. You're not fight. lying to us, you're lying to the Holy Ghost. And won't yes. fight, you argue with you, just okay. Brother, sister, yes. thank you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. He's just using that as an example. example. If you, did, if you would have, then he, the Lord wouldn't have showed us more to tell you. Because last Tuesday, there was a lady who came here, was sitting down there. 
and I saw that she, she was she has pure oppression on her. She denied. Yeah. She denied. She said, no, not me. What do you do? Amen. Yes, come. Yes. Yes. You know what? Confirm the truth. Someone else told me I had a lot of pressure on me the other day. It was a prophet. So, yeah, you confirmed that. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is why some people on purpose are trying to throw you off when you're throwing the gift like that. They say, oh, yes, yes, don't deny yes, and say, da, 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 da. Yes. Just leave them alone. Yes. Don't argue, don't fast. Jump, go to somebody else who's ready to receive. So you don't waste your energy, your time on them. Are you here? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. You are teaching how to be used by the Holy Spirit. These are the secrets. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay, come. And there was a man of God. God using the detailed word of knowledge. And there's a guy came to his service. And the guy did now all those things, everything he told him. He said, Well, because you denied, everything come back on you. Ooh. Boom. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Yeah, Seven times worse. Seven times worse. Because yeah. okay. he was trying to mock God and mock the prophet of God. Amen. God cannot be mocked, neither Amen. his servants. Yeah. The rest of his life is still suffering for me today. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, you don't play you don't play game with God, yeah. the Holy Spirit and the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God will give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Are you all here? Are you enjoying this? Man, you fell as if you are glued to the ground. Is that true? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you are hungry for the supernatural. Because yes. imparting his gift. Yes. Thank, 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 thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Jackie. Can you come, hop, hip hop, do something? Thank you, Jesus. You have been concerned with, concerned with all of your children. And God told me to tell you, hallelujah, praise the living God. Cast your care. Cast your care upon the Lord. He's working everything out for your children. Thank you, Jesus. For their salvation. Thank you, Jesus. For their salvation, Thank you, Jesus. hallelujah. And also, Thank you, Jesus. the healing is completed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 
We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We all love you, Lord. We all love you. We all love you. Did I break your head? What happened? <laughs> Drop on what? You sure? You sure about that? You sure about that? Yes, the Holy Spirit. You sure about that? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. 
welcome you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How do you think of your son in law? How do you think of your son in law? What do I think of? Yeah. I like him. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we pray for you, sir? Your younger son was here. Uh, and uh, I can see he favors you. Amen. Can you stay behind him, sir? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, now, see where uh, Tina get the get the cutie from. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I would like to ask him to pray for my oldest son. It's included. Hmm? It's included the word. Is he what? It's he's included. included. Okay. Well, he's on. I don't like. I would rather you tell me what. He is on disability. Mm -hmm. Should I go any farther than that? You, oh. Usually you say don't tell me. Yeah, okay. Everything's done. He's free. He's whole. Oh, He's whole. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So how many children do you have? Four. Four. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray right now for you. Your name is Sir Randall. You can pray for the man of God, Mr. Randall. I pray your blessing to be upon her, upon him. Excuse me. I bless your peace upon him. I pray you continue to manifest your goods, your grace towards him. I bless him. I bless his life, his family. I bless all his four children in the name of Jesus, the presence and power of God. In the name of Jesus. Yea, yea, my son, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll continue to take care of you. I'll continue to lead you and guide you into all truth. I, the Lord, am drawing you closer to me because you are hungry for more, hungry for my presence and my power. Continue to yield and surrender, hallelujah. And I continue to reveal myself to you in and through your life. For the Lord God is with you. He's well pleased with you. I'm well pleased with you, my son. I'm well pleased with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All, all you need to think of the word. It's pretty good. Rego, take it. You take the word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. God bless.